Hello my chickens, welcome to my channel. So in today's video, I'm gonna do a really dramatic look. I haven't done a really dramatic look in such a long time. I'm just so excited to cake my face, put some massive lashes on, a bold lip. I cannot wait. So we're gonna do like an Instagram catfish makeup look today. I really hope you guys like this video and let's go ahead and jump right in. I feel like I look really bald, but trust me, I've got a bun back here. So let's go ahead and start with the eyebrows. So. I'm taking the Benefit Kaboom. This is the Cream Brow Gel, and I have the shade 3. I've never used this one, so I'm very excited. The color does look really nice. Um, a bit more warm tone than what I actually am, but hopefully we can make it work. Don't you hate when you have like a random stray hair just poking up? Oh, that was long. So let's go to town. So if you guys haven't noticed already, I got a new background set up. I'm still fiddling around with it, so I don't know. It's cute though. My first impression of this product is I actually love it. I love how it's not too wet. The product isn't like too moussey, so it's really easy to use and like it's harder to stuff up because when it's really wet, I'm just like slipping and sliding everywhere. You know what I mean? My brows are on. They're looking super dark at the moment, but I really need to add some shape underneath them. Um, so I'm gonna go in with concealer and I'm taking the Smashbox Studio Skin 24 hour waterproof concealer in the shade light neutral I love this stuff so much. I'm just gonna start by putting this on the back of my hand and To carve out my brows. I'm using the Shenexo Beauty Eye Definer brush. This one is amazing because the brush <laughs> The bristles are super short, so it's easy to just like have a lot of control over the product Okay, this concealer isn't the best for carving out the brows, I just realized, because it's so runny. And um, I just made my brows super thin accidentally, because I was just like, boom! And of course, I'm just going to prime my eyelids. If you're wondering why I have bruising on my lips, that's because I got a little bit of filler in there uh, two days ago. So they're a bit fresh. They're a bit swollen as well, so they won't be this big. But yeah, there's a little bit of bruising there. And of course, setting that down with my Rimmel Stay Matte Powder. I'm just going to pack this all over my lid so all the other colors blend on top really nicely. Oh my god, I'm so happy it's the weekend right now. So I have two events to go to this weekend. I'm going to a fashion show type of thing and then I'm going out on Sunday night. Well, probably Saturday night as well. Um, but I haven't really been out with my friends for like a while. I can't wait. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited for this next product. It is the Jaclyn Hill palette in collaboration with Morphe. You guys are gonna die when you see all the colors inside of here. Oh, it is so beautiful. <laughs> okay, so what I really wanna do is put this all over my lid because I saw one of my favorite gal pals on YouTube um, do that the other day, I'm pretty sure. I don't know if it was the exact color, but it looked like this color. Her name's Holly Boone and I'm like, oh, I love that. I need to do it. So I guess we're gonna start with a transition shade. Hmm, I'm gonna start with this color right here. There's just so many different shades in here. I'm like, what do I do? Let's go into town. So I'm really excited to see if the formula is different to the other Morphe shadows. Oh my God. <gasps> that is so pigmented. Oh, I feel like this is gonna be like my new favorite palette. I'm just starting by taking this in a little circular motions and buffing it up to my eyebrow. It's really softly though. Okay, so next I'm gonna take this warm, no, 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 wait, wait a second. <gasps> the next color I'm taking is this chocolate brown color right here. This is more of a cool tone, but that blue is a cool tone that I wanna put on my lid anyway. So I'm just gonna take a little blender brush and I'm just gonna pop this right in my crease to deepen it up a tiny bit. How weird, I'm not going in with a cool tone. I'm in a warm tone in my crease. Not like me, is it? Now just taking that original color, I'm gonna blend on right over the top. Just so it's nice and smoothly blended, you know? Oh my God, now it's time for that amazing blue color. I've honestly never seen anything like this in my entire life. It's a matte turquoise greeny blue. Like I'm obsessed. That's going all over the lid. Let's see if we need some MAC Fix Plus on that. I'm just gonna start with a flat shader brush and just pack it on. That's so pigmented. I'm obsessed. Would expect nothing less from Jaclyn Hill, I'm not gonna lie. Now I'm just gonna blend that dark brown again into my crease so we can diffuse that sharp edge right there. Let's move on to the rest of the face. So for the primer today, I'm taking the Pixi 
flawless beauty primer this one's really pretty and iridescent it makes the skin look so glowy so i'm taking two pumps and putting that on the back of my hand wait what? what i'm gonna put this on my face duh what else did you do with it shiny um my skin is very dull at the moment i haven't even moisturized that's not like me i just need some like radiance and some life back into my skin i've been helping michael move houses so i've just been running amok the past like three days i'm just so happy to be like sitting down and talking to you guys again now it's time for the foundation so the one i'm taking today is the Too faced born this way i love this one so much i've been using it ever since it come out so this has like a really nice medium to full coverage so it's perfect for this makeup look because i want to be a full glam so the shade that i have today is a warm nude so i definitely need a lighter shade to what i usually have my tan has like completely faded so I'm just gonna shake it up and put a few pumps on the back of my hand so we can go in and beat this face So the brush I'm using is the Zoeva 104 buffer brush So this foundation is available at Mecca if you guys are from Australia or Too Faced .com. Oh my god, you guys are gonna be so happy with this color match aren't you? Because They always go really dark so I can like make my face look more bronzy so if you guys want to pick up the new shades, you can get them from Too Faced.com on June the 15th. That's when they come out. And you can also get them in stores and online at Mecca, August the 29th. I love this foundation because it is oil-free and also has coconut water in it. So it can like help replenish your skin. It has so many other good ingredients, which is really nice to know. And then for concealer, I'm taking that same Smashbox concealer underneath my eyes. Oh my God, I have the worst dark circles at the moment. Why does this keep happening? My god, oh my god, that's so dark. Usually that's like my highlight shade. I have to go in with a lighter one. That's cool. I'm going to take the shade light neutral and light medium. It feels so weird not being tan. Like, what's happening? What is happening to me? No, it's because it's winter. I can't be bothered. And then to bake under my eyes, I'm taking the Kat Von D Locket Translucent Powder. I haven't used this one in a while. I can't really remember if I like it, but let's go in with the beauty blender. And then to set that down, I'm going in with the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Polish. I really like this powder actually. It's not too heavy on the skin. Oh my God, I'm so happy right now because you can really see that glow through the powder still. So I'm gonna zoom you guys in so we can do the lower lash line. I'll just take that blue from outer corner to inner corner, I think. Obviously really feeling this color. What can I say? And of course, I'm gonna go in with this really pretty shimmery shade. I'm just gonna pop this on my inner corners because everything else is matte oh my god that looks exactly like mac nylon i love it even more pigmented to be honest i'm just gonna line my waterline with this white eyeliner from Stila. it's in the shade alpine i want to make the appearance of bigger eyes because i'm a catfish what can i say and then for mascara i'm taking the revlon dramatic definition mascara and i'm just gonna coat my top and bottom lashes. I'm ready for some massive, massive lashes right now. Oh my God, that mascara smudged all over my lid. So I would not recommend that. That was a disaster. But now for lashes, I'm taking these ones from Lily Lashes. They are stunning. So I'll be right back. Lashes are on. I'm really scared they're gonna like pop up in the corners because this glue, oh no, the glue's not the best. I use the House of Lashes glue, but I really like the like duo glue better. I just don't have any left and these lashes are really stiff because I forgot to bend them. But anyways, let's move on to the eyebrows. So I just quickly want to set them down. I'm taking the Garbo and Kelly Brow Gel. I love this stuff. This one's just clear. I'm just going to push my brows upwards to make them look super full and just fluffy. That's better. I honestly can't do my makeup without setting my brows anymore. It just looks so good. I'm going to use a few new things that I haven't used before. So this one is the It Cosmetics Contour Palette. And I'm picking up this contour shade. I'm going to go into town, chisel these cheeks out a bit. Hope that the shade is great. Yep, that's super nice. And then for the bronzer, I'm going to take the Marc Jacobs Tantric Bronzer. I haven't used this one in a really long time. So I'm going to take this... Um, Real Techniques, I think it's a blush brush, I think. So I'm gonna use this for my bronzer. Just pop a little bit here to warm my face up a bit. I feel like we can't really do too much um, with blush just because like 
of the blue on the lids. So I might bring the bronzer up a little bit higher on my cheeks here. And of course, around my forehead. I'm just taking that Kat Von D powder and I'm just going to bake a little bit. Oh my God, my sideburns are hanging out. I'm just gonna clean it up and I'll just brush it straight off because I don't want a stark white line, but I still want it to be nice and neat. I actually love watching people do this. It just looks so good. Oh my gosh, it's time for the highlight. Going in with MAC Fix Plus, of course. Oh my God, I just threw my brush across the room. <laughs> actually, can't be bothered getting out. I'm just gonna use a different one. The highlighter that I'm wearing today is the Too Faced Love Light Ray of Light Highlighter. This is a rose gold color. I think I've used this before. I honestly can't even remember. Oh my lord. Oh my god. Are you serious? The fly is back in the room. Are you kidding? Are you the same fly from last week? I feel like highlighter just makes everything come together. You feel. And now time for the liquid lipstick. I'm taking the shade Gemini and Mannequin from Jeffree Star. And I'm just gonna mix the two shades together. I don't want the lips to be too colorful, but I don't want them to just be like nude because I feel like that's boring. The eye look is really fun. So let's make the lips fun, but not too fun, you know? Of course, I'm gonna set my face. So I'm gonna take the Kat Von D Lock It and Makeup Setting Mist. Mmm, that smells amazing. Actually, that smells like cucumber. Gorge. Anyways, I really hope you like the makeup. I love how it looks. It's so glam and crazy, yet so wearable in my eyes. Um, if I could change anything, I'd probably just put like a nude lip on, but I always do nude lips, so I had to change it up. So I love you guys so much. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye. What kind of smile is that? Bye. <laughs>